Welcome to Three Minutes with R2. I am a radiological scientific officer, and this is our survival complex. In other videos, I've talked about how to measure radiation, but in this video, I'm going to explain about what are the permissible limits. There are many forms of radiation within the electromagnetic spectrum within reasonable bounds and limits. Many of these are not harmful to us. There are many different measures of radiation that are used. And to confuse the issue, I could mention at least 20. Because of the Fukushima reactor disaster in Japan, one heard a lot about radiation rates measured in thousand becquerels and nano becquerels. These are very tiny units of measurement, and very large numbers of nanobecquerels do not signify a serious amount of radiation. To add to the confusion, when one measures curies or becquerels, they are measuring disintegrations per second or time unit, and not the effects of radiation on matter or man. There is no way to convert from one of those measures, which are measuring one thing, to another which is measuring something else. There is really no way to compare those apples and oranges. Measures such as rads, rims, grays, and sieverts have been developed for the purpose of measuring radiation in man. Years ago, when I first received training in the subject, a popular measurement coming from Germany was called Grays, which was used in the biological sciences. The rule of thumb drilled in again and again to those who studied in that era was that 5,000 Grays in a population equaled one case of cancer. The concept back then was that no radiation was good for you. And it was not until recent years that I learned differently. Many of those people who go about screaming about nano becquerel exposures still don't understand that, or if they do, have some other motive in wishing to scare people. There is one other distinction that we must make at the outset, and that is between peacetime and wartime standards. Peacetime standards for what is permissible are many, many times lower than wartime standards. Peacetime standards are measured in MR, meaning millirankins, which are a thousand times less than what we use for wartime standards. For wartime standards, our measurements are very simple and straightforward. We measure the radiation in R, and that is what our instruments are marked and calculated in. Whether you think of R as standing for Röntgen, Rad, or REM makes little practical difference. You only need to remember three numbers. 200 R no fatalities, 400 R, 50% fatalities, 600 R, 100% fatalities. Mind you, there are a lot of caveats about these numbers. We certainly don't want children or potentially pregnant women getting 200 R. The 200 R limit is for a healthy adult male. On the other hand, radiation wears off much like a sunburn. If one got a very, very severe sunburn, that could kill them also. However, you can get a little radiation or sunburn or tan every day or so, and it won't hurt you. It depends upon how little. The fellow that I knew who knew most about radiation told me that he had received over 4,000 R in his lifetime. 
He lived longer than I am old and didn't he ever have cancer or any discernible radiation effects. And then there is that matter that some radiation may be good for you. But I will talk about that in another video. Okay, well, thank you for watching. And please remember that Arc 2 is not just about your survival. It is about the reconstruction of society after its collapse or a nuclear war. It's the end.